YOLO Live have recently published YOLO Box Pro version 1.1.0 firmware and this firmware update has got three really cool things in it. The first of these is the ability to choose what frame rate you're recording at when you're using the YOLO Box Pro in monitor mode. The second one is being able to change the speed at which transitions happen. So when you're cutting from one video source to another, doing a crossfade or something, you can change how long it takes for it to complete that transition. And the third thing is the ability to change the speed of rolling captions. So let's have a look at these three things. I'll show you where they are in the settings, what they do, and how they can help you to make better videos. So here's my YOLO Box Pro. On here I have set up a project already. I've got two video sources which are coming off the SD card and I've created over here a rolling caption source as well so that we can play with that. Okay, the first thing I want to do is show you the transition. So this is just my two video sources and the output and as you can see if I click on one of these it cuts across to it pretty much straight away like that and that's just a, a straight cut now if I want to use a different transition I can come to the settings down here I can tap on video source transitions and here I've got a whole list of the different transitions that you can use on your YOLO box pro I'm going to pick fade at the moment just because it's at the top there and here is the new duration bar that you can see by default it's one and a half seconds duration to do a crossfade so let's do a fade and you can see how long that takes so that's a second and a half and that's been the default that we've been using for a long time now I can change this however and I can make it as quick as half a second by sliding it to there and you can see that that's a lot quicker it just cuts across like that and I can also make it as long as three seconds so I hit that again and you can see it takes three seconds for it to do the crossfade you might be able to see that a little bit more if I use say a directional wipe and you can see how long it takes for that wipe to cut across there or if I make it really fast it's a very quick wipe nice and Star Warsy that one and you can just set that at increments of a half second by sliding this bar across the top here I'll click done on there for now and now I'll have a look at the encoding settings now this is where you're going to find the frames per second rate now the frame rate you choose is going to be based on how you want to output your videos and what it's for so in here you can go from anything from 20 frames per second up to 30 frames a second with increments all the way through there the slowest one as I just said is 20 frames a second the next fastest is 24 frames a second you've got 25 frames a second which is PAL TV standard then it cuts up to 29.97 frames per second that's the NTSC frame rate standard and you can also choose 30 frames a second which is pretty much the internet standard everybody's monitor these days works at 30 frames a second they're running at 30 hertz or 60 hertz or 120 hertz some increment of 30 so if you use 30 frames a second you know you're never going to get that horrible skipping jumping of frames and, and that, that stutter that you see once you've set this you can click done and that will be away laughing and it will record at that rate I'll just click done on here for now I'm going to leave mine at 30 because I'm producing videos for the internet the final one in here is the rolling caption overlay now overlays is something that you generate inside the YOLO box it's like a title or a graphic the overlay is something that scrolls across the screen just like this I'll just click on the overlays button here and I will turn this one on that I made before which has just got a whole pile of gibberish text in it and you can see up here that it starts scrolling across the screen so that's just random words that I um, picked using the auto progression kind of thing so that is moving across at normal speed so this is a predefined speed that this is always run at on the yellow box but now they've let us change that so if i hold down on here and click the edit button you can see that the scrolling speed we have here now is a a new thing so i can slow that down if i want to so it's only running at half speed i'll click done and let's go back and have a look you'll see that this starts again running at half speed you might want to do that if this is a piece of information that you want people to digest and have time to read. If you need to get a lot of information across and it's not so imperative that people read all of it, something like a news ticker tape or something like that, 
um, and you just want to get a lot of information past that people can see at a glance then you want to go faster so I'll just um, hold my finger down on there again hit the edit and I'm going to ramp that up this time and I'm going to make it three times speed just so what you can see what the difference is and I'll click done again and that will come back and now you can see that that's scrolling across much much faster don't forget of course you can always change the position of that on the screen just by dragging it up and down on here as well so you could have it at the bottom or at the top and also if it's not terribly clear you can change the background color so I could change that to black there hit done and have that appear on the screen like that so that's the three things that have been added to version 1.1.0 of the YOLO Box Pro firmware. There are some changes coming out to the YOLO Box soon and another release to the YOLO Box Pro which is going to have some more awesome stuff in it. So stick around and watch that sort of thing. Make sure you hit the subscribe button here so that when I make a video about them you get notified. And watch this video and this video as well because they're things that YouTube has picked just for you because they know the kind of thing you like so why wouldn't you watch them and i'll see you in another video soon